Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so um, we just decided to do a quick video, um, pretty much Colorado versus New York. Uh, all the differences that we've seen since we've been here, uh, things, some things are a little slightly different, or whatever. So we got a list of a bunch of different things. First thing is taxes. So much lower in Colorado. New York hikes the taxes up all over the state to accommodate for the city, pretty much. And yes. Colorado is very different. Taxes are so much less here. Um, and depending on in what, what, well, what area you're in, too, like they, they localize it, and so it's cheaper depending on the areas that you're living in. Um, the climate. Number one difference. Huge, huge difference. Yeah. Um, here is very dry, sunny, um, a lot warmer. New York is humid. Uh, yeah, humid. So it's humid. Cold, freezing, chilled to your bones, kind of cold. For many, many months of the year. Cloudy, rainy. But that's kind of a downfall of Colorado, too, because where we're so dry, um, we're a lot of desert. We go through droughts. Um, so we crave moisture that we don't really get. <clears throat> but, but you can get like a snowstorm, like we already got a snowstorm in a completely melted way. We just got another one, and it's supposed to be sunny the rest of this week, and so it's probably going to melt away again. Which it, the weather's very strange in, the, in that aspect. It, it's very cold in the morning, and then the sun comes out, and, and then it's up to like 50 some degrees in, in the afternoon, and then gets cold again right the next mm -hmm. night. Like the mountain weather is very different, something a lot different than New York, New York. At least where we were, it was pretty steady. The weather would stay uh, almost a constant most of the time. Yep, you're, you're kind of, you have to stay on your toes more because you never know what to expect. Um, the elevation is totally different here. Here it's way higher. New York, I think, where we were was like 200 feet above sea level. Here we are like 8,000 feet above no, sea level. 7,000. 7,000 feet above sea level still. Um, and you don't think that's going to make much of a difference until you try to move your stuff upstairs um, and you cannot breathe by the time you hit the top of the stairs. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. Um, <clears throat> very big difference. Uh, asthma seems to be much worse here um, for Kaya, but we're adjusting, so that's getting better. Um, baking is totally different in higher elevation, which we learned. <laughs> The hard way trying to make cupcakes that didn't absolutely quite rise, right? did not come out right <clears throat> so that's kind of an adjustment luckily i don't bake very often but we'll see if i ever perfect that um voting oh voting so much easier here they mailed me a ballot <laughs> i sat down with Dwayne with a book where we were informed of everything and we voted all at once in our pajamas and dropped off our ballot at our convenience. In New York, you have to show up on voting day between a certain time and you have to show a photo ID, you have to wait in line. It's a pain. And then you have nothing to reference. Like, I loved having that little book, that information thing. I don't know yes. if that was just our county that did that, but it was awesome. Um, I never felt so informed. <clears throat> ever which brings us to kind of like the DMV because before we could vote we had to make sure we got licenses and things like that and we realized it was a little different we went to go get our licenses mm -hmm. in the closest town and they're like oh no this DMV just uh, does registrations on vehicles so you have to go to a different town which is farther away and they do licenses so it's like that's kind of different and we had to do it by appointment but there was no waiting we showed up we were in and out both of us had our license within 20 minutes, maybe, half an hour. Yeah, which was nice, because in New York, you just sit there and wait forever. We would have waited in line for 45 there. minutes. They would have handed us a form. Then we would have had to go fill the form out. Then we would have had to wait in line again. And you wouldn't have gotten a photo ID. We got a photo ID printed out, handed to us when we were here, which was pretty cool. New York seems to be, I don't know, more uh, behind the times, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> which kind of brings us to people, I guess. 
Yeah, the people here are so much nicer. I find in New York, people just don't smile at each other. They don't talk to each other. Um, I find myself putting my head down and just kind of walking and doing my thing. Here, everybody's so friendly. And again, I don't know if that's just the area we're in, um, but everybody is just friendly. No one's in a hurry. In New York, everybody's always in a rush to get everywhere, and they'll run you over <laughs> trying to get there. Here, it just seems like everybody's more laid back, which I mean with the mountains and, and the views here, I just can't see how you would be in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. I'm happy every day. <laughs> Ever. Ever. <clears throat> um, the views here are amazing. The mountains. Even the desert views are really cool. The different rock formations. And and that's different too because back in Cena in New York where we were, it's river valley, it's lots of greens and stuff. And here it's like high desert. Yep, lots of trees, lots of forests in New York. Here there's mountains. <laughs> Amazing, beautiful mountains. I, I just can't get enough of them. Every day I look at it and say, how can... I live here. <laughs> like it's amazing. I hope I never get sick of it. Um, the town size between where we came from and here is drastic. We thought we lived in a small town. Um, population of what? Like 11, 11 12,000. <clears throat> here we have a population of about 700 year round. Um, there's so, it's so much smaller. There's so much less people. Everybody is close knit. Everybody knows everybody. We're learning everybody <laughs> yes. but um totally different um if we want to go grocery shopping the closest walmart is about an hour away 70 miles um where we came from we had a walmart super center two minutes away from our house um we had multiple pharmacies here we have one pharmacy and it's 16 miles away <laughs> we have a bank that we have to travel 16 miles to um, the hospitals. The hospital. Most Everything's about time. 16 miles away in, in this next smallest town, but even they don't have a lot of stuff. Um, they have a couple of small grocery stores, a couple of fast food things, um, but for the most part, it's, you're, you're traveling at least an hour to get to anywhere. But you're actually traveling farther than you would in New York because their speed limits are a lot different. That's something yeah. I kind of had to get used to, too, driving faster here. <clears throat> They're All the roads are flat for the most part, so you can see forever. So it's okay to drive 75 miles an hour. You don't feel like you're going really fast. No, or at least no, now I'm, I don't. I'm used to it. <laughs> um, in New York, like, max speed is 65 on the interstate, 55 for the most part everywhere else. And it's, it's weird, though, because everybody in New York is in so much of a hurry, and here in Colorado, everyone sees so much more laid back, right? Yes. Maybe they're in what? more of a hurry because they have to drive slower. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you can drive a lot faster here. And, and at some points, other parts, when you get up in the mountains and it's all twisty turning, then it's like 30 to 40 miles an hour just driving. Yeah. But that's the time you want to go slow because you want to kind of take in the surrounding views. It's so pretty everywhere you go here. Everywhere. You can't go to a place and not have a beautiful view. It's amazing. Yeah. But one weird thing that was different between New York and here is recycling. Oh, yeah. New York, where we came from in our area, recycling was mandatory. Um, we actually got to a point where we were zero sort recycling, which was nice. You could just throw everything in. But before, we had to sort everything, paper, plastic, glass. Um, here, recycling's not mandatory. If you want to recycle, they don't pick it up at your curb. You actually have to take it to a recycling center where we have these bins outside of our post office where we take our recycling, but they don't do plastic recycling. So it seems like the number one thing you can recycle and they don't even do it. We have to throw away our plastic. It breaks my hair every time I do it, but there's no place to recycle and it drives me crazy. Um, hopefully that's going to change in the future. I'm hoping they catch on and at least offer some sort of plastics recycling. Come on, Colorado. I know, really. <laughs> uh, the wildlife here is totally different. The deer we had um, in the town where we came from had a whole lot of white-tailed deer, but they were up in one area. 
if you weren't in that area, you weren't going to see any deer. Here, I mean, you can drive down Main Street and you'll see 20-some deer in the middle of the day. And they're mule deer, so they're different. Um, Plus they have elk, pronghorns, uh, bighorns, uh, bears, bears, sheep. Um, Mountain lions. Yeah, New York didn't have that much wildlife, although there were some. So that's a big difference. <clears throat> and then talking about wildlife, I guess food we'll talk about. Because the food here is definitely different. That was a huge experience. Mm-hmm. Back from New England where we're from, and you get a bowl of chili, it's red chili with beans. Here, it's green chili. And actually, I never had green chili until I first moved here. And, and it it's is delicious. Very, it's just it's very, very different. different. So when you're talking about chili with somebody here... They're talking green chili, um, which is weird. I don't know. I'm going to attempt making my first batch of green chili this week, so I'll have to... Hopefully it comes out okay, because I really like it. I love green chili. It's very good. Very good. So there's differences between New York and Colorado. Some good, some bad. But overall, I'm liking it so far. The welcome change. Very good change. Mm -hmm. I'll take the bad with the good. So I hope you guys uh, like that video, like Colorado versus New York, kind of see the differences and how 